This is your creative life. And then there's here, this is you, okay? And you're like me, and I'm like you. We're human, and we get bogged down by stuff. Oh, bad mood, depression, then this happens in life, right? Then this, then this person, this relationship took me down. Oh, I'm wounded. I've been struck yet again. I don't know how to get back up. My, cre this, my creativity, I can't meet it. It's too far. I can't get there. I'm so lost. I'm this and I'm that. And this is all relevant. You have to work with this. We have to work with it big time. Yeah? This has got to be worked with. However, the creative life is its own thing, its own soul. We need to get up and water it like a plant and feed it like a baby, even if we feel like crap. We might feel like crap and come up with every excuse in the book to not bring something to this. We don't have to be a superstar in our creativity, in our creative lives. We don't have to be so hard on ourselves, but we do need to get up and water the plant. We do need to ask it, how are you doing? We do need to give it love. What does that look like? What does that look like? We go for a walk. We talk to it. We create a little altar with a flower on it. Every day we add something to it. That is our creative life. So where is your creative life represented in your life other than in your painting, other than in your actual music or whatever it is? How do you feed it? How do you nurture it? How do you grow it? Is it beside your bed? Is it a plant? Is it a flower? Is it is it a, a, a beautiful picture? Is it a, a anything? The best lipstick you've ever had. It just like it just lights you up inside. That represents your creativity, and you put it on every day. You lather that red lipstick on, and you look at yourself in the mirror, and you're like, "I got it." That's your creative life. That's your creative fire.